Welcome back to the Charlotte Harbor. Today we're going to do something a little different. Just got in new, my new spear gun. Super excited. It's a Koa 36 inch. Call it a mid handle. Uh, I'm not a spear gun expert to say the least. Never spear gun before in my life. Smells like a nice, well varnished piece of wood. I don't know if that's teak, but anyway. Um, Aaron Young out of Key West, Key West Waterman, he designed this gun. He does a ton of spear fishing. He's like a pro. And uh, he uh, does a lot of inshore stuff, which med led me to uh, to get this gun. It looks like something I would be interested in doing. I'm not big on uh, going out offshore. I'm not set up for that. And you um, need to have, you know, people with you. And you should have people with you no matter what. But anyway, spear fishing in and around these islands I think would be pretty cool. So this is a gun designed to do that. Uh, let's jump right in and see how we do. Never fired a spear spear gun in my life, so um, hopefully we'll get some beginner's luck here, and uh, let's jump to it. All right, I was a little disappointed with the footage. This was actually a really cool dive, but I tried to kind of wiggle around uh, filming this properly by attaching it to my snorkel, and it really wasn't getting what I was seeing. Um, at all so I cut out almost everything just got a few decent clips of some snapper but uh, I won't put any video up like this again it was just my first dive with the gun so I'm gonna show you what I've got but I ran into some barracuda some redfish and snook just saw a ton of life and none of that gets really conveyed here so anyway here's a decent shot you can see what's going on with some snapper um, which is primarily what was here. Saw a lot of sheep head as well. Um, the pros, they, they have a mask mount, which I didn't have, I do now. And then they also like to mount the camera to their gun, so they're getting two different views. But again, I'll work on, on that part. So I thought it'd be cool to pull the first trigger on a mullet, do something a little more, uh, you know, difficult. Hit, hit a mullet, it's not a big flat fish. So um, here's the first shot here coming up. Got up under some mangroves. It was a nice school. Some big old fat mullet. Mullet are good eating if you eat them fresh. Believe it or not, it's one of the main things I bought this gun for was mullet and snapper stuff that's inshore that you can kill, eat, and take home. Um, and here we've got a school coming in. It's going to be the first shot I ever pull on it. And believe it or not, it's not quite as easy as it looks. I mean, there he was. He was right there, right? How'd I miss? That's kind of what I was thinking. Now, here's another one. And even more frustrating than missing is this. I struck out. I missed three fish. And then, boom, I nailed him. I mean, sent him sideways. He flipped and flopped and then just vanished, which was weird. I don't know how he, he got off. Here's a stone crab. It ended up being a female. So, just I was just pulling it out for, for show. Now here, again, I have a tear off. I nail a nice sheep head, and he just spirals right up the shank, and he got off. So, very frustrating start. All right, I needed to get a new battery, so one more try here. So here I'm finally able to get a fish. I'm tired of just looking for a specific fish. I just take the first one that looks legal, and I nail him. Well, I finally stuck something. Stuck it in the mangroves too, but stoned him. Took me a while. Literally heading back to the boat, about to give up. I could have shot one of these at any time today, but I was trying to get something bigger. But um, yeah, that's a keeper snapper and uh, primarily what I wanted anyway. So it's called a success. Stuck him, put him right out of his misery. Now that I got one, let me try going and get one more. And again, I apologize for the footage. This isn't the view I was having of these fish, but I'll do better next time. Here's another one. Not quite as big. <laughs> that was a success. 
it was a success because I did not want to get out of the water. I just wanted to keep swimming. It's like just one more cast, it's the same thing. It's like, well, let me just peek my head around one more bush here. And uh, that was awesome. I, I didn't exactly get a bunch of fish. I think I killed a bunch though. I got to get better at that. I tore off too many. I don't know. At first I was missing too many. Missed a few shots and then I was sticking them, but I think I was hitting them too close to the front of the head or too close up by the, uh, you know, where the head meets the meat and it was just tearing off. I don't know. I, they would come in for a second and then they'd be gone. So that's not cool. I don't want to kill any of these fish. I'm having a hard enough time shooting them as it is because it's just weird being underwater and they're looking at you coming up saying hello and then you pop them. But hey, that's hunting. I wouldn't want to go deer hunting, but um, I like fish hunting. This is awesome. A lot of fun. Uh, and definitely going to be making some videos using this here spear gun. So I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.